everybody. Welcome to Friday. How you guys doing? How are you doing? So I'm going to be doing a live today, Fridays at noon. We're going to be doing lives. So I'm going to shake it up a little bit in terms of the time, but that seems pretty good to me. So today we're going to do a full Zodiac live weekend reading. All right. So catch me on this bat channel. Uh, also, there's a few spots left for the tarot certification, the first core core cohort yeah that's how you say that um that's gonna be starting at the end of january so if you want to get in on this and you haven't taken my tarot class yet and the certification starts at the end of january it's time to get cracking so there's a link below if you want to jump on that all right let's see where we go today what is going on for you today also over on soul souls on fire my other channel i am posting twin flame content so if you're interested in that Check out my other YouTube channel, Souls on Fire. Souls on Fire. And please subscribe so we can get a little traction over there. All right. Thanks very much <laughs> in advance. Oh, look at that. Soul Giraffe. I love that card. There are no wrong turns. Thank you very much for that message. Enter one step forward, one step onward. So I think you're seeing the big picture here, or you're going to soon see the big picture, that there are some choices that need to be made. And... We best get on with it, okay? Mars is now direct next week on Sunday. Well, Sunday, I'll be doing a video about next week with all of the uh, astrological movements next week. It's going to be a big deal, all right? So uh, Friday or Sunday afternoon, I'll be putting up a video about that. Okay, so there are no wrong turns. Just get, just get going, all right? Just take action. This is a kind of a follow-on to yesterday's reading about Mars going direct. Um, so let's see what we what happens here. All right, let's see what happens here. Okay, one more. One more shuffle, please. One more shuffle. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I like that. Ace of Wands underneath. Inspiration. Um, the power of like a magic wand to do what you want to do. This is also fire energy. It's wand energy. So in keeping with that Mars, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to take some action now. It feels pretty good. Four of swords, tower, that's Mars and Pluto right there, right there. Woo. Five of pentacles, the sun, the hanged man, and the fool, new directions. Beautiful. Three of swords, the emperor, there's Mars again, and the queen of swords. So some of you may be uh, caught unaware a little bit. Some of you may be sleeping. Some of you may be not taking action. And to, te to either to step into your spiritual gifts, to start your business, to start things, this is the perfect time to do it. We have the tower coming up in the five of pentacles. That doesn't seem all that fun. So let me see. All right, Page of Swords, Eight of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Two of Swords. So you're getting a message. You know, we have um, Mercury going direct on the 18th. This feels to me more sudden than that. Um, there's a message coming in about commitments that you're making. What are you doing? What are you continuing to do? And is that is that wise? Okay. I feel like there might be some self-doubt here about what you're doing. If something happens, if you have sort of a, woo, a tower happening where you're like, oh my goodness, am I doing the right thing? Okay. I feel like that's what's happening. The good news here to me is it's based a little bit on wounded ego. And, and we talk about ego a lot as a bad thing, but actually um, a healthy ego is what gets you up in the morning and gets you moving. And, you know, because we do things <laughs> to help ourselves or we don't, or are we sabotaging ourselves? This three of swords here tells me that in the past you may have self-sabotaged. You may have done some things that are not in keeping with the direction you want to go. So you're going to want to make sure that you're in alignment with what you want to create. So if I want to, if I want to, um, I mean, the easiest one is this, if I want to you know, go on vacation and wear this new bathing suit that's two sizes too small. What have I got to do every single day to get there? What have I got to do every single day to have a successful business? What have I got to do every single day? So 
it doesn't, I don't believe that, what is it? An overnight success takes five years. There are preparations. There are steps that need to be taken. There are opportunities that need to be received. There are, and I almost feel like in the past that might not have happened. Um, a little bit of resting on your laurels here or a little bit of um, not taking advantage of opportunities like sleeping or sleeping is good for your body, but you know what I'm saying? Like sleeping on or not taking advantage of something that comes along, not taking an opportunity. Um, this Mars energy of moving forward that I talked about yesterday, it has transformative um, uh, properties, okay? So when the tower comes along, an unhealthy ego is full of doubt because it was given messages of lack and scarcity for such a long time. So change means something bad, all right? That's what's always being attributed to it. And I feel like that's the thing that needs to be rectified or the thing that will change because you're gonna take some action and you're gonna see that even though it's kind of scary for you, it's gonna come out great. <laughs> Initially, maybe not. Initially, there's a, a period of time where if you're not doing what you used to do, self-sabotaging, and you're making some kind of change, there's a period in time in which you feel maybe foolish, maybe having bringing up that self-doubt more, bringing up that sense of like, oh, am I doing the right thing? But I feel like... Um, I like that Mars is going direct. We are having every all planets direct by January 22nd. And these are two. So this seems a little confused to me. This seems a little bit like, all right, I'm just going to surrender to the journey because I don't know. Right. I don't know. I'm making some decisions. I'm no longer resting on my laurels. I'm no longer doing things that are sabotaging, self-sabotaging. And I still get a message of self-doubt. So it's time to be like, you know what? Sometimes we need to make some decisions that at first are more challenging for us, right? Like we give ourselves more work or we give ourselves, you know, more of what we don't want in order to get to where we do want. And <clears throat> the hanged man is kind of surrendering to the new journey. Um, seeing the big picture. Some of you are really good at seeing the big picture. And I feel like that might be um, being uh, activated in some others of you who might not be, who might be really better at details. There's something going on that you're now seeing the big picture. It's like the tower blows it open for you and you're able to see, ah, okay, I'm going in this direction, which means these daily steps have to happen. Now, they might not work out in the short term, but I feel like in the long term, it is the correct direction. Do you know what I'm saying? Don't be fooled by taking some action that at first feels a little scary. All right, let me clarify the hanged man and the fool here. Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups, you see what I'm saying? Ace of Swords, Empress, look at that beautiful. All right, so this, we get through this, all right, we get through this. Um, this is something that's happening, could be happening over the weekend or by the end of the month or something like that. But it's it's kind of like immediately in our face, maybe over the next eight days or something like that. And then we have this sense of like relief that, oh, wait a second, this is opening up a new path for me. Oh, I get it. This is not something that's holding me back. This change or this decision to move in a different direction because I've been, I've been self-sabotaging. All right, I'm going to do something different. What's the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Now you got to change. And that can be a little scary. So the beautiful part of this is like, all right, I'm just going to trust the universe. I feel like there's spirit is saying, trust the universe here. Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups, Ace of Swords, Empress. This is going in a really beautiful direction. Emperor, Empress, and some unintended consequences or unintended surprises that are yes unintended surprises that are coming through lovers all right so some of you are making some decisions here the emp the lovers and the two of wands are both decision cards and it's <laughs> so this is a little bit all right 
some of you have been hermiting yourselves a little bit too much. Maybe um, the lockdowns and, and, and COVID and cha changed a lot of how you're being in the world. And that's, you step outside, right? Stepping outside of that comfort zone brings in some opportunities and unintended opportunities, things that you might never have come across if you weren't like stretching yourself, all right? If you weren't putting yourself out there and doing the thing that most scares you or mo most makes you feel a little oogie, <laughs> then you would never have realized this. And this is why having the big picture, like later on, you're going to see that just taking these steps, taking these change steps later on is going to pay off in a big way. All right. We've got a ton of major arcana cards here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight out of this reading. So for those of you who take my tarot class and my certification, you're going to understand that when you see uh, a reading that has a lot of major arcana cards, it's going to signal a massive and kind of a sea change. All right. Something that is impactful, long-term impactful. Okay. So we're going to keep going here. I will pull cards for each Zodiac sign to see how this impacts you particularly. All right. Link is below. If you want to continue on pathfinders, let's just keep going. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.